According to New York Times on February 22, 1965, Malcolm X was shot dead in a rally at the Audubon Ballroom. The article written by Peter Caius, he states that a 39-year-old leader of a militant black nationalist movement was shot to death at a ballroom. Now, if you understand that around this time, racism was a problem in our society as it is still today, and to fight for what was right often leads you down a road of being killed or set up with accusations that will destroy your character. The article states that a 22-year-old Negro, Thomas Hagen, was charged with the killing of Malcolm X. As we see today, we can find out who was all the players behind the assassination of Malcolm X. Now, I'm no conspiracy theorist, but if you do a little research, you will be able to find out all the information you need. The article further states that about two hours later, the police said the shooting had apparently been a result of a feud between followers of Malcolm X and members of the extremist group he broke with last year. You see, a play on words can change your whole perspective. They said it was apparent that this was a feud because of the breakup between the nation and Malcolm X. This was clearly propaganda thrown into the screen, making something seem that it is, but it's really not. That's crazy. Anyway, in the reports from the autopsy, the medical examiner claimed there was two different types of gun calibers and shotgun pellets removed from his body. That's nuts. This is rage on top of rage to be able to assassinate someone like this. You have to be a type of mad to be able to perform inhuman acts like this. All I can say, we as black people need to stand together and pull our resources to build our own. We don't need anyone's help. All we need to do is to be able to remove the ego, remove your pride, and organize our own. I will have more videos like this on all these topics in this crime book. If you like this type of content, consider following the channel.